Welcome to the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, where once again we come back by popular demand. We're here <laughs> with our good friend. What are you laughing about? It's true with our good, good friend, John Schreiber, president and chief executive officer of the great New Jersey Performing Arts Center. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Doing great. We great. kick off another run here. See, it's a run. We're coming back. Is this our 28th season? What, how, many, <laughs> no, no, how long just, have we been doing this? It, it, see, you're saying it feels like that is what no, you're no, implying. No, no, no. So listen, uh, talk about some of the great things happening at NJPAC. We're kicking this off in December of 2016. It'll run after that as well. Uh, best things happening down here? Well, right across the street, we are building a 22-story residential tower. Uh, it'll be the first luxury housing ground up in Newark in 70 years, mm -hmm. 245 units. And uh, we think it's going to be transformational for the neighborhood. What impact? Well, I mean, Newark is now, you know, a, you know evolving into a 24-7 live, work, play destination. And our building, the Haynes building with 160 units and the Whole Foods on the, the ground floor and Rutgers School of Art and Design going in there. Back of us on Rector Street, there's another 20-story tower being built. Um, so there'll be thousands of new residents uh, in the downtown, um, you know, within the next uh, two to five years. Very exciting. You know, John, you and I have had this conversation offline as well as on the air over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. The role of the art center the arts, culture, incredible performances here, very loyal uh, folks come here to see all kinds of performances. But then the part that has to do with economic development, uh, explain that to folks. Someone said, what's the art center doing involved in that, you say? Well, the arts are a tremendous economic driver. You know, for every dollar somebody spends on a ticket to a performance, you know, there's a, there's a $4 return in terms of other monies that are spent you know, in, in the market. So whether it's parking or food or, you know, other experiences that folks have, you know, we have over 425,000 people came to the Art Center last season, right? That's a good number of folks. I would say probably twice as many people went to the Prudential Arena to see mm. sporting events and to see concerts there. So that's a lot of folks who are coming downtown uh, buying tickets, spending money, um, and our goal going forward is to make uh, those visits uh, longer term. Come earlier, go to the Newark Museum, That's go right. to the, the Newark Public Library, go to Military Park, dine someplace uh, off of our campus but in the community and uh, make this a, uh, you know, a, a cultural visit. Let's talk about some of the most exciting things happening this season I can't even call it season because it never seems to stop here at the PAC. Uh, kicking off December and moving forward, some of the best stuff happening. Well, um, the, the first weekend in December, Michael Feinstein uh, Great. is going to be hosting Michael Feinstein. two nights of uh, American Songbook at NJ PAC. And that's a with our partners that we at, with, at uh, uh, NJTV and uh, Channel 13 and WLIW. And All the PBS partners in the region. Absolutely. And, and so we'll have two evenings of, of performances with Michael interviewing and playing. And, and so, so that'll be fun. Uh, we have our hip hop nutcracker. The hip hop. Nutcracker, which we featured here before. Tell folks 20 seconds on that. What is it? It is Tchaikovsky's music, uh, you know, Curtis Blow uh, scratching, uh, uh, dancers who are interpreting that music through hip hop. And it's an extraordinary kind of mixture of all different art forms together in one, multi generational in terms of its appeal, old folks, kids, um, and, and just a really fresh take on, on a classic. And we're going to be touring that yeah. in 26 cities around the country. Wow, yeah. all around. So Can I think we do jazz for a second? You're, sure. an, aficionado. you're an aficionado, yeah. you love it, but you're not the only yeah. one. Yeah. TD, James Moody. TD, TD, James Moody Jazz Festival, named after the guy who uh, uh, lived here, uh, brilliant jazz saxophonist, loved this city. And the Moody Festival started in you know early November and uh, continued for the whole month. We did an amazing show uh, called Jazz in the Key of Ellison. And that was inspired by Don Katz, who's the founder of uh, Audible, who right. was a, a student of Ralph Ellison, the guy who wrote Invisible Man. And so we have uh, Catherine Russell, Wynton Marsalis, Angelique Kidjo, Patty Austin, uh, the actor Joe Morton, the, the, the rapper Talib Kweli, 
all performing uh, music that Ellison loved and reading his words in this kind of amazing integration. So that was, that was an extraordinary thing. The other great thing about the PAC is that um, you have community events here. Just a couple months ago, um, there was a powerful forum dealing with police minority relations that mm -hmm. we taped interviews at uh, that were airing on public broadcasting as well, bringing folks together to have important community conversations. It's a key part of uh, best practices and use of this place. This is a community center designed for great symphony orchestras and great musicians and performers, but it was also designed as a place where citizens can come together and talk about important issues. And you're right, we had the mayor, we had the police director, we had the U.S. attorney, we had somebody from Black Lives Matter. We had you know, eight different panelists it was incredible. talking about the relationship between the community and the police. What's a more important topic these days than that? Last topic I want to touch on. Yep. 30 seconds or so, arts education here at NJPAC. So it's a really important part of who we are. We touch about 75,000 kids and families a year, and we've been working hard to see how it can be even more effective than it is. And we've landed on something called the Maker Movement. The Maker Movement. Right, and the Maker Movement is about kids as creators and producers, right? So we bring a kid to a performance, we train a kid on an instrument or as an actor or as a dancer, and then we say to that kid, now it's up to you. You become the writer, you become the choreographer, you become the improvising jazz musician, you become the filmmaker, and tell us who you are by virtue of the arts. It's a great continuum. How great is that? It's wonderful. Uh, by the way, real quick, uh, most exciting interview series other than the American Songbook that you have that comes to NJ Pack is? The New Jersey Speakers Series. Oh, d d well, other than that. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato at NJ Pack. I mean, how much more of a setup do you need, Shriver? <laughs> He's supposed to be my friend. I'm trying to sell tickets, man. Okay. <laughs> You're good at that. This is John great. Shriver, yeah. uh, who didn't pick up on that cue very quickly, but he did move product. I got there. Uh, president and CEO of the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. We're honored and proud to be back here for our 28th year. No, it's not. It's only a few years. It's just, uh, I hope we're here for that long. Uh, NJ Pack, come here. Great stuff going on. And we are going to be here for the next couple of weeks. Check out our programming every night here from the PAC. Thank you, partner. Thank you for being our pal. Thanks for kicking things off. We'll be right back right after this. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation and the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in association with NJTV and WNET. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJ PAC has been provided by TD Bank. Prudential Financials Global Communications Department, NJIT, Josh S. Weston, The Fidelco Group, RWJ Barnabas Health, and by Verizon. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.